Hi, y'all. Uh, ooh, what the hell? That's not the way I've been at this, um, this vlog to start off. Let me go ahead and get out here, though. Hey, y'all, what's up? It is Karen A, and welcome to a new vlog. Let me call my phone because the angle's better when I hold. So guess what I did? I picked up my phone to vlog. So um I just got done. What did I just get? I just got Starbucks. I've been craving a Starbucks grilled cheese for weeks now, and every time I go, they never have one. So they finally had one today. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, y'all. And it's probably probably gonna be a a little one dayish vlog or whatever, simply because I work tomorrow and the next day, and then I'm off Saturday. But I think Saturday is date night, so I might vlog that. I don't know. It depends. Um, depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But I decided that weekly vlogs maybe just aren't my little niche, like. Maybe just daily ones. <laughs> it's all there is to me because, yeah. But no, for real. Um, we're about to go home. We got a lot of clean, not a lot of cleaning, but a tad bit of cleaning to do. Like I need to do laundry, um, clean the bathroom. I want to make some candles. I um, ended up ordering last night as in the, in the spur of the moment thing. I ordered a stylus pen. For my ipad because i was gonna get an apple pencil but it's like 90 dollars i'm like why would i get that when i can just get this for the same price you know so i got that and i got i brought a digital planner today for 17 dollars <laughs> and i've been just like filling it out i got a lot of stuff in there i will um show y'all it and I'll link it down below but um i got that so i've been filling that out i've been reading i've been oh my reading stuff girl I'm about to I'm gonna start making a segment within my vlogs, like a book review segment. I actually just finished a book, so we'll do a book review segment, and I'll let y'all know what I'm currently reading. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna make some dinner. I'm taking salmon croquette patties tonight and rice and probably some string beans because I don't have no corn and I forgot to get corn when I was just in Dollar Tree because they sell corn, so why not? Um, but yeah. That's what we're about to do. We're going to make some candles tonight, too, because we have to get back on that. I have some stuff to do for this mentorship project that I'm starting. Yeah, I just have so much going on in my life right now. It's crazy. And I said that I wasn't really going to be talking about it for real. But let's be real. Nobody really watches my videos anyway, except for my friends and family. Um, so, yeah, the mentorship project that I got going on, I've been writing a book. Um. <laughs> I just like now that I'm done with school and I like have a handle on this work stuff and I feel comfortable like I actually know what I'm doing and I'm not going I know what I'm doing I'm kind of confident in myself as a nurse somewhat a little bit kind of I feel like I just have so much free time on my hands to do stuff that I actually love and enjoy so we're gonna be working on all that stuff today you guys and I'm going to take you along for the ride. It's 3.20 and it's like, y'all probably like, girl, it's almost the end of the day. But I didn't get out of bed until 11. And y'all know, now that I work night shift, I just be up at all times of the night. So, believe me, we'll have time. Um, don't worry. We're going to get it all together in this vlog. I've been trying to post, like, little TikToks and stuff, too. I posted a TikTok maybe um a couple days ago. So, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. It got a decent amount of views and like I was actually pretty proud of myself. Uh, I haven't posted one in a while. I think I'm gonna just start posting like one or two a week just to start off because I know if I could try to commit myself to 
posting every day baby i won't post at all so one or two times a week is what i'm gonna try to commit myself to and yeah post it once this week i'm gonna try to post again probably i'll make a video of date night or whatever and if i don't do day we don't do day night because y'all know y'all don't know but me and this man begin to tour every other day but that's our business and we'll see because i like it's just like we're both stubborn people so it's like it's a learning process it's a learning process and i also think that I'm the main character in everyone's story when I'm not and I don't like that but that's okay I'm learning and I'm growing as one should do in her 20s so with that being said we'll see if day night is actually a day night um even if it's not I do still want to I want to probably want to do a spooky movie night or whatever like my Halloween themed vlog um so I'll probably do that and make a TikTok out of that as well. So either way, we're gonna film a vlog and a TikTok on Saturday. So I should have should I stop? Nope, I'm stopping my box. Y'all, I need to clean out my car. It actually like my boyfriend was eating oatmeal in here, and he brought the whole oatmeal bowl and never took the oatmeal bowl out of the mother freak. These people don't even live here. They don't even live here. Oh, I don't want her too close to her car. But he never took the freaking oatmeal bowl out the car. So now, I feel like that's what's making my car smell. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's get into the hair, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me cut the car off. So y'all don't got hair we already parked. Oh crap, hold on. I'm gonna go pee. Oh, hair is giving. She's giving silky. It's silk press season and she's giving what she's supposed to give. Sorry. I think on my next appointment, I am gonna get color. So I'm excited about that. But I got a matcha with two pumps of vanilla. Been trying to watch what I eat a little bit. Um, Cause the girl is weird. This is gonna be sad and depressing cause it ain't even toasted. How supposed to be toasted? That part ain't got no key. Here, what y'all been up to? Let's figure out now what have y'all been up to? Put me hip. Put me on. Let me ask her for some napkins. Okay, y'all. I will see y'all when we get in the house and get some stuff going. I don't know what I'm gonna do first. Probably put some clothes in the washer first. Oh, they had it in the mittens, man. That must be his car in my spot. Y'all hear the wind out there? It's going crazy, bazonkers. But we are about to go into my room. I'm actually trying to figure out why I should wrap my hair before I start cleaning up. I don't need it to sweat out. Because, baby, this was a $130 hairstyle that needs to last the full two weeks. Because the third week is going in a ponytail. And that's usually when I do all my oils and stuff. Um, so, off topic, let me show y'all 
the oils I have been using to help grow my hair because my hair has been growing. Every time I go get it done, it's grow more, more, it grows more and more. And usually I get it curled, but now that I got it straight, I can see like how long it's actually getting. And sorry, the lighting in here is terrible. The light's not even on. But let me show y'all the oils that I've been using. Don't talk about that, okay? This is what laziness procrastination gets you. Laziness procrastination and a slight depression. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm also, um, I need to go see uh, a doctor because, oh shit, I'm supposed to make my doctor's appointments today. It's almost five o'clock though, fuck. Um, like, um, I don't know, because I feel like I get hyper-focused on one thing and that's all I'm thinking about. I don't, I don't know. We're not gonna talk about my mental health right now, okay? Just know. I'm working on it. Let me show y'all the hair oil that I've been using. Okay, so I actually have pretty oily hair as is, like when it's straight. So I usually don't start adding oils and stuff to it until like it's going up into the ponytail and it's like, a couple like a week before my next hair appointment because then my hair is like in a ponytail but i've been using the uh miel i know y'all have probably been seeing this all over tiktok but this is what i've been using and i've also been using this is um the rosemary mint scalp and hair strength strengthening oil i've been using that and then i also have been using Paige's hair healer which is actually um, my hairstylist, my hairstylist hair oil, and she uses this when she does everybody hair too, so that could probably be, that's probably contributing to why my hair is growing so much too, but I will leave this link down below and this, I got this from Target, I'll leave both links down below, the editing should care, remember that you need to leave both of these links down below, and when I show y'all my digital planner, I'm going to show y'all that link too, but we're about to go into the room, don't talk about the room, because when I just tell y'all, laziness, depression, and procrastination, don't talk about it, but we're about to sort out these clothes. And I figured I would talk to y'all while I sort out the clothes because I need to ask y'all advice on something. And y'all better answer me. Ooh. 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 All up close in person now. I need to clean the carpets. Um, I'm going to use my sister carpet cleaner, but she's not getting it from her mother-in-law until Friday, so yeah okay i don't know if y'all seen me put on my bookshelf that was probably in a vlog that i never posted but i got a bookshelf now y'all if i can find the clip of me putting it together i will insert it here i'm pretty sure i can find it so i'll insert it here editing shakira when you're editing this tonight you better put it in there okay okay all right so i have a ton of laundry to wash actually y'all but guess what we're not about to wash it all. Um, maybe. I don't know. I guess it depends on the mood that I'm in. But all of this stuff in here. Let me bring y'all. I could bring y'all down a little bit. Ooh, ooh. All right. Bring up. It just stopped recording. But um, I should have probably got more hangers. What is this? A Pillowcase. These are duped jeans. But this stuff is clean. Why do I have like a thing of pads in here? Y'all, I tried the whole organic pad and tampon thing. And shout out to the girlies who can do that because baby, I can, I can't, I can't do it because um my period be so heavy and i be literally having to change like like every hour every two hours like so i'm gonna stick to my always and yeah all right but okay here's what i need y'all advice on bear with me as i pick these clothes up off the floor this is what I need y'all advice on. 
I want a pet, right? Um, well, I really, if we're going to be honest, I want a baby, but I'm not having one though. So, oh, this is clean. So, the options are either A, have a kid, which is boop, out of the answer. Out of the equation right now, I still got goals and stuff I need to reach, so. So, that's out of the equation. So then, the next option is a dog. But where I live at now, they don't allow dogs. And I'm moving in July. So maybe. Possibly sooner. I keep having issues with this apartment, so it might be sooner. Um. Okay, I can't want that test. Hold on. I think this shirt is uh this shirt dirty. Okay. So um get a dog, which I would have to wait, or I can get a cat now. But I'm not a big fan of cats. So, what do y'all think I should do? Wait to get the dog or get the cat now? Y'all tell me what y'all think I should do. Tad bit. And we gotta do a workout today, y'all, because I'm so fucking fat. <laughs> I'm so fat. I am so fat. And that's just, it's not working out for me. Well, at least I get to see how I wrap my hair. We need to organize this closet, really. But, all right. Usually when it's curled, each time I wrap it, I wrap it in the opposite direction. But when it's straight, it really doesn't matter. In the first couple days that it's straight, it never really wraps properly anyways. As y'all can see. So you just got to wing it, girl. And the more I keep it wrapped, honestly, the longer it lasts and the less friction on my ends and stuff that will make, that will make, um, it want to like shed and my end split. So, small potato, that's what I look like, a small potato. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and throw this clothes in the washer. I will take y'all out there, but it's a little too much work. Because one, I need to use my phone to start the washing machine. And two, I got to take my tripod. To... I'll see y'all when we get back in.
Well, I did everything. I still have a load of clothes in the washer that I need to go put in the dryer because I'm pretty sure they're done. And I have to fold these, this laundry or whatever. But it is. What time is it, y'all? I don't know. I think it's like 6, which I made my goal. I wanted to have everything cleaned by 6 besides the laundry because that takes 7 to 10 business days. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it now to get it on off the way. So I got all that done. Um, I'm glad I put my hair up because, y'all, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I broke out in a little sweat. I didn't show y'all no clips of the room, but I just made my bed, wiped out my dresser, the bookshelf, the nightstand table, that little ledge right there, and I vacuumed the floor. And, um, what else? Yeah. Uh, only thing I didn't do is the living room because that is Duke's area. I'm not cleaning that. And I didn't take out the trash because I don't do that either. So, that's a man's job. Yeah. I'm not doing it. So, yeah. Um, I'm about to fold this laundry while I watch Alexis. She just posted a video. About to watch this. And then after I fold the laundry and stuff, I'm gonna we're going to go make some candles. And watch the new episodes of Love is Blind because season three is out. Um, and they put more episodes out today. So, we're going to go do that. Are you guys watching it? And then, before we make candles, though, I'm going to do the book um, the book review. I'm going to take my hair down for that, though, because I don't need to be in a body. But, yeah. Um, that's it, y'all. That's what's up. I'm about to go put these clothes in the dryer. Eat me a little snickety snack before I start cooking dinner, which I don't even know what time that's going to be at. Anywho, I will see y'all when we are making candles. Or wherever I cut the video to. Either making candles or the big book review. Um, yeah. I might put the book review at the end. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see y'all. Y'all. I just... Ma'am! I wanted to ask you if you'd be my wife. I just, um... I don't care what you look like. I would love to be your... I just freaking recorded everything showing y'all the digital planner and the stylus that I got. My phone was acting stupid. And so basically, it didn't catch any of it. So we gonna have to redo it. But right now, that just frustrated me. So we're gonna... It did it again. We're gonna make candles now instead. Hopefully I can get some footage for you guys if this freaking thing decides it wants to cooperate. Oh crap. Oh no, this still a I'm watching Love is Blind the new season. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make some candles. Um I don't really know how I'm gonna set up the footage for it, but 
yeah we'll see see y'all <laughs> Y'all got a little sneak peek of them. There they are. There we go. But now we're about to make dinner because it's about to be 8:30 and Duke gets off work at 10. So I'm gonna have dinner done before he gets off. It's not gonna take that long to make, honestly, but whatever. And then I will go to the book review and go over my digital planner. And then that will be the end of the vlog. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to add this cooking part because it's literally just rice. Y'all know how to make rice. And I might show the salmon croquette. Haven't made it in my mind yet. But while I'm at it, so the three scents of candles I have right now are Sweater Weather, Ice in the Woods, and Love Spell. All together, I do have nine that will be available November 9th. So keep a lookout for that date. So head to the site, or if you want to pre order yours or pre reserve yours, shoot me a message on. Um, either my personal Instagram or my business Instagram, which will be linked down below. And then I have a couple more previous scents left over. I think I have like strawberry, peach champagne, um, peach rings, and maybe like a white tea left or whatever. Um, I do have a couple pumpkin left too. So if those interest you at all, check out the site down below. It will be linked. And like I said, for the newer ones, which is the Sweater Weather, Ice Vanilla Woods, and Love Spell. I only have nine of those, three of each, just because I want to see how they do. So if you are interested in those at all, shoot me a message to pre-reserve yours. And with that being said, I'm about to go ahead and get into this cooking plate. Okay, boom, let's get into the festive vibes. But for real um so it is later it's like 10 30 closer to 11 ish and your girl has finished cooking just got to take my shower doing a bit of skincare as you can see i usually don't do these under eye masks that often but i have noticed like some like darkening around my eyes and baby we can't have that so excuse me because i know i look weird and it, probably look like you could barely even see my eyes because my eyes are so freaking tiny but we're gonna go ahead and get into the digital planner 
and this mini book review and then we're gonna close out the vlog and we're gonna get it edited so first things first ipad of course um this is the stylus pen i told y'all that i brought i got it from amazon we'll leave it linked down below um just check the description box for anything if you're wondering like oh where'd you get that except for this robe i found at cj manx but um okay so it came with like a little instruction guide but who needs that um it also came with the charger an extra um pen part to draw with and then this is the actual pen it resembles a apple pencil um this was only 30 bucks though it comes with a cap and then you turn it on by clicking it twice you get the blue light to come on click it two more times the light goes off charging port yeah so the digital planner that i got i brought it from etsy it was 17 something dollars it is actually the same digital planner that Aaliyah's face uses so yeah um and I'll just show you guys a couple pages in here. I just really wanted to show y'all the main page because this like breaks down everything that I that it has going on. So like, hold on. Here we go. We got like yearly stuff. We have finance stuff, wellness stuff, lifestyle stuff, productivity stuff, um, some goals that I already filled out. One of my goals is to start my fitness journey because y'all know how every time I vlog, I'm saying, oh my God, I'm so big, I'm so big, I'm so big, girl. What, what you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna complain, but what are you gonna do about it? And then also to, what is that, save 10K? And then um, my soft mentorship program that I was telling y'all about. And then also I'm writing a romance novel. So, because I'm a romance girly. So I'm, I'm writing a novel um like i'm gonna publish not it's not gonna be published published not i don't think um it'll be like a wattpad thing if you guys know wattpad is i've, I've talked to y'all about wattpad before when i first discovered wattpad when i was like a teenager i used to write books on there there's actually three books on there that i have published that i have not read since i have written them that i do want to kind of want to go back and read but if you guys are interested in reading them I will leave that, my link for that, down below as well. Editing Shakira, you got a lot of links to find, baby girl. But yeah, okay, so um, here we go. Let me show you guys some different ones. Like, here's a good one. Um, Like, stuff. This has, like, your accomplishments, like, goals, habits you want to work out through the year. And this is an undated one, so you don't have to worry about it expiring because it's undated. So, yes, I'm starting to get towards the end of October I'm gonna be more heavily into it though I know for a fact in November so um yeah what else like this is what the monthly overview page looks like I hope you guys can see it and it's not really glaring and then um, what else this is a monthly reflection page A monthly finance page i'm gonna start that for february not february it says february this is the february one that's why i said that but november um monthly track oop, trackers monthly trackers oops and yeah what else was it um uh, this is like the weekly part. Oh, did it, did it, so you guys see it? I hope you guys can see it. And you can use this throughout, like every year, like you never have to, you know, because, simply because it's undated. So you can use this for the rest of your life if you please to do so. And then the ones that I filled out besides that first page that I showed you are a little further down. It was like some of the finance ones. Um, like right now, I'm starting off small. I'm a $2,000 goal um, that I want to save next month. So there's that. Oh, crap. Why do I keep doing that? 
And then a savings one, a debt snowball tracker. I'm going to probably fill that out tonight. Um, a debt payoff tracker. Yeah, so uh, my dream life type of thing. A letter to the universe. Like, I'm so excited to do all this stuff, y'all. Um, if you guys want, once November comes, I'm actually going to go ahead and do like a whole thing for November and I will show you guys it as we do it hopefully um as I fill it out and yeah so that is it with the digital planner like I told you guys I did it is the same digital planner that Aaliyah's face used so I got the link from her it is sold on Etsy um it's originally like twenty something dollars, I think, but I got thirty percent off. If you go look at the sample first, she gives you a link for the extra thirty percent off. So make sure you guys go do that if you are interested. And let's get into this book review, girl. If you are a reader, don't like reading, then this will probably be. You can just skip this part. This will be the end of the vlog for you. Thanks for watching. If you are a book girly or if you just want to hear me talk, if you just like to hear me talk or if you want to get into reading books, then let's go. Let's get into it. So, all right. This is the last book I read. First off, I read like almost mm, seven. Let me see. One, two, three, four five six what i feel like i'm gonna tell so the fact i've read six books since the end of august beginning of september i've never had problems with storage as much as i'm having problems with storage today is it time enough for me to update my phone Either way, let's hurry up, get into this book review. It's going to be a really quick one because I do not know how much storage I have, y'all. So, the last book, the re book, the most recent, blah, 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 the most, <laughs> the most recent book I've read is The Love Hypothesis. Got this suggestion off Book Talk. Um, it was a lot of mixed review reviews. Well, not even a lot of mixed reviews on Book Talk. Book Talk did not like this book. Um, they weren't a big fan, but me personally, I really enjoyed it. Like, I liked it. I do. I feel like the male character, what the heck was his name? I'd be forget everybody's name. Just, I want to say his name was not Shane. Shane is from seven days in June. Um, his name, Adam. Do I feel like Adam's character could have been... Adam's character could have been a little more mm, open, per se. I don't know. Like, something about his character kind of did rub me the wrong way or whatever, but it was fine. And then um, a lot of people were saying how, like, how the two came to be in the situation that they're in. I don't want to give out too much in case you guys want to read the book. If not, or if you already read it, comment down below. We can talk about it. We can discuss. But um, how the situation came about. Everyone was saying like it's so unrealistic, but I feel like it's fiction and it's a book. It's supposed to be unrealistic in a sense. Like, I don't know. That's just me. But I did really like this book. Um, the gist of it all is um, Olive and her professor kind of embarked themselves on a fake dating thing because of, like I said, an unrealistic situation. But it is a fiction book. So, I mean, I don't know what people expect. I... Anyways, they go on a, um, they end up being in a fake relationship and, um, you know, how the cliche goes, fake relationship, leads a real relationship type thing. But I feel like it's a lot of stories out like that. And each one I just love because they all go in different directions. Like this one, Honey and Spice was like that too. Fake relationship turned real relationship. But each one has their own, you know, storyline, but like. The bottom, the plot of the storyline, the storyline is the same, but like the plots, to, it's different, but it's the same. Anyways, I really did enjoy the book. Sorry, this isn't like, I actually wanted to sit and take notes and like just actually discuss this with you guys. I might do an actual video on it, but like I said, stories run the love. So anyways, 10 out of 10, I mean, I think on Goodreads, 
I rated it like a 4.5 or something like that. A 4 out of 5. 4.5 out of 5. Something like that. Anyways, that is going to be the end of this vlog because I don't know how much how my phone is going to act. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned. If you stay tuned this long, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Don't just watch my stuff and not subscribe. Subscribe. And then turn on the little bell so you know when I post. I'm very inconsistent. I know, I know, I know. I get in these moods where it's just like, mm, I don't feel like doing that. So, yeah. Um, everything that I said will be linked down below will be linked down below.